I'm Alexis. With so many of us sending and receiving emails, texts, and tied to social networks, chances are we may run into a cyber bully. Problem is, a cyber bully can be somebody you know, like from school who's harassing you online. Possibly it's somebody you don't even know, or a lot of people ganging up on you. Hey cutie, like those pants. Any room in there for me? Everyone's experienced harassment, uninvited and unwelcome verbal or physical attention. Cyber harassment's the same thing, only using the internet or other digital communication to spread rumors, send annoying or threatening messages or humiliating put-downs, forward private communication, or post embarrassing or damaging text, photos, or video. On like MySpace and stuff, people just post random things like, what were you wearing today? Or like, I, that new style that you've tried out, what's that? Well, sometimes when I hear some juicy gossip, I will just kind of let my friends know about it, but I won't post a bulletin. But it's never me, someone else always posts the bulletin. But online, spreading gossip can quickly get out of hand. When your friends spread the gossip to their friends, and their friends spread it to their friends, well, you get the idea. In this age of constant communication, cyberbullying can happen 24-7. Victims can never really escape it. And because it's digital, messages and images can be spread not just around the school, but around the world. I think it's okay, because, you know, yeah, they'll get mad, but they'll get over it, and it's, it's a good laugh. Like, who really cares? It's, it's not going to affect them in the long run. It's what we do, you know? <laughs> I'm a girl, and I like to gossip. <laughs> All of those excuses may explain why people bully others online, but in reality, cyberbullying can be much more devastating than physical harassment. Oh, I feel horrible after getting bullied. Are you kidding me? A lot of kids with low self-esteem, with, with, like, not that much foundation in their lives, it can really, really damage their lives. And like, I post some of the paintings I make and people make fun of them too. So be smart and know how to prevent cyberbullying. There are many simple things you can do. The most important thing that we can do is to guard our contact information. Don't give people you don't know your cell number, screen name, or email address. Don't share passwords with even your closest friends. Friends change and someone could log on with your screen name and do some real damage. Sharing buddy lists increases your chances of being bullied. Assume that no digital communication is really ever private. IMs can be forwarded, copied and pasted, or changed to distort conversations. If you have something personal or private to discuss, go old school, use the phone, or talk in person. Don't let something you say or do online come back to bite you. And if you do become a victim of a cyberbully, here's what you can do. Bullies want power and control over their victims, so it's important that you don't react when you get a harassing message. If it happens once, log off. If the harassment continues, send one clear message to the harasser to not communicate with you. Save the message and all other communication as evidence. If the harassment continues, tell a trusted adult. Check the harasser's ISP and request that their account be terminated. If the harassment continues, it could be cyberstalking. If it becomes threatening or scary, call your local police department. 